patience. You know, where I'm at right now, I'm a free agent. You know, waiting to get back, waiting to see where I'm going to go next. And um, it's, it's uh, one, just another lesson, just patience, man. There's so many lessons that you can go on, even from just watching this show um, that I'm sure we'll get into today. But uh, I've been playing this game now for 15, 16 years, and, and it's been, been a blessing. And so that's... Because there are some things that I agree with what I saw the coaches doing. And I think it's safe to say there's some things that I disagree with what I saw there. And not only from the coaches' standpoint, the parents. And we're going to bring a little bit of that up tonight. The parents' responsibility here, the coaches' responsibility, the league commissioner's responsibility, all the different things that we want to get in. But first I want to talk, introduce a young man that I've known for a long time. Played at the University of Georgia, also in the NFL, currently playing in Canada. All SEC linebacker, Randy Curran. Give him a round of applause. One of the best commissioners in football from the Metro Atlanta Youth Football League, Tony Davis. Give him a round of applause, guys. And from the Atlanta Daily World, Mr. Terry Shropshire. Give him a round of applause, guys. All of them have lived a life of football. And I want to ask you this, Randy, starting out. Do you believe that overzealous parents are affecting youth football? Oh yeah, I mean, without a doubt. Uh, without a doubt, it's, it's uh, you know, overzealous, whatever you want to call it, uh, prideful. Um, and at the end of the day, it's your kid. You know, I, I have a, I'm blessed with a beautiful uh, daughter. She's six years old now. And at the end of the day, I don't think there's no parent out there that doesn't want their child to be the best. And that's originally where it starts from, um, with, with just their attitude towards their kid or towards the game. Um, and from there, it can kind of spiral out of control. You know, when you let those, the, as you saw, your ego get involved, your pride get involved, that's, that's where it can go wrong. So I think parents just really have to keep in mind the, the, uh, the grand scheme of things. You know, like we talked about, the lessons that are learned from the game of football, not necessarily just winning all the time or being the best all the time, because sometimes your best just is not gonna be good enough. You know, it's, um, at the end of the day, so I think that's, that's the main things parents have to keep in mind. Um, when they're trying to coach their kid, I'm just keeping uh, fun, the fun, keeping the fun in the game. Because at their at their age, man, that's that's what it's all about. Building those memories. Yeah, that's, that's right here with you, Randy. At what age would you start your child to play football? And is is there an age that's too young? Um, I mean, for me, I, I have a completely different perspective when it comes from, uh, to that. So my both my parents were Liberian immigrants who came here in the '80s and. No clue about football at all. Now they're experts, of course. <laughs> but uh, when it came to me, <laughs> when it came to me playing football, I mean, the first thing my mom just thought it was a bunch of people hitting each other. So I practically had a, uh, at the age of 10 years old, begged my parents to take me out and let me play football. And that's what I believe every parent should, should um, base their decision off of. Not necessarily just trying to push their kid. Cause you see a lot of parents, they're trying to just get their kid out the house keep them active, but I think they should let their child show that passion, that love for it. Because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna um, make them successful in that sport, whatever it is, if they love it. Um, so I, I think that's that's what you gotta go by as a parent. So whether it's just music, whether it's you know arts, um, anything, um, just allow your kid just to show that he has that passion first and then take it a step forward and uh, promote them. Talk to me about concussions and your thoughts on that. Um, just watching uh, this episode, it just brought back a lot of memories. And you see the, the problem that the NFL is facing now with the, the head injuries and concussions, and you see where it starts. Um, this is something that starts from day one when you're young. Um, you're taught to, to get up. You're taught to, you know, if you're hurting, now you're gonna get through it. And so you take that same mentality and that same kind of identity with you, and it, it stays with you. It's not something that you can just coach that just goes away. And um, so it, it's, I, I feel like it's, it's going to be a never-ending problem, honestly, because it's just part of the game. I, it's, it's hard to coach toughness and, um, you know, a certain mentality to help you be successful. And then on the other side, say, oh, you, you got to do things a certain way. I mean, there's no way I could be coming full speed at you and in the last second I, I adjust my body, you know, to, to the way that you're, you're projecting yourself at me. I mean, it's just it's, it's hard to do. So um, I, I think better equipment, you know, you can you can talk about it all day, but at the end of the day, it's, it's football, and um, it's, it's a rough sport. It, it's gonna be part of part of the game. Injuries, you know, as, as well as I do, 
we can train all we want, um, get in the weight room all we want, say it's flexible, but there's going to be those freak accidents that happen. It's because of the, the nature of the game. As a parent, um, letting that coach do their job, but at the end of the day, realizing that the kid is only going to be, uh, the success of where that kid end up, ends up starts at home. You know, it starts with the, the values that you teach your child. There's no coach out there or teacher that's going to be able to tra transform your child into the best player or uh, uh, reach that level of success. It starts with you as a parent. So if you teach your kid work ethic, if you teach your kid responsibility, those different things, all those things start at home. And so I think that's where parents kind of kind of get it mixed up. You know, they, they wait till their child is out on that field. And that's where a lot of times the, ch the child's uh, problem starts to get exposed on the field. And then that parent that doesn't want to look like a bad parent. So now they want to, you know, uh, really yell at their kid and do different things. And a lot of times, it, like I said, it starts at home. Um, so that, that would be my biggest advice. And then besides that, just helping that child to realize that um, football, it, how small football is, it's such a small piece of your life. Um, for me, I'm 26 now, and I maybe am will be lucky if I have five more years to do this. It's like, what else am I gonna do with the rest of my life? And that's where you as a parent has to step in and make, make your child see the bigger picture that, hey, this is just a small piece. You learn your lessons, you have your fun, you enjoy your teammates, you build these relationships that are gonna last the rest of your life. And then after that, hey, you, there's so many other things that you're gonna be able to do. This is just the beginning. So don't go and put so much pressure on yourself to make yourself believe that you have to be the best at this or there's nothing else important in life. So I appreciate you guys, you know, taking time to come out. Appreciate the panel. Everything you guys said was on point. I just want to say thank you guys so much and look forward to seeing you guys now training, getting ready for the 2015 football season. Thank you guys very much.